In the previous lesson video, we showed you how to create a route that returned a static response in Spring Boot. In this one, we want to show you how to create a route that returns a dynamic response. In other words, the response will be different based on data that's part of the request. And so I'm going to go to the bottom of my Hello Controller class. And uh, within that, just to make a little note to myself here as a comment, I want to um, create a handler that handles requests of the form slash hello question mark name equals launch code. In other words, it takes a query parameter um, called name with a given value, and that value should be used in the response. To create this method, I'm going to do something similar to my previous static methods. I'm going to create a method of uh, that returns that's public, um, returns a string, and I'm going to call it hello um, with query param. And now, um, well, before I actually flesh out this method, let me go add my annotations. This is still going to accept only get requests. And it still needs the response body annotation because it's going to return plain text. And I still want my mapping to live at slash hello. So I'm still going to, within the get mapping uh, parameters, um, right after get mapping, I'm going to put within parentheses, hello. Now, this is going to be a dynamic handler. In other words, it's going to accept data. And the way I wire this up uh, is I go inside my, my uh, parentheses here for my method declaration, and I say that I want it to take a string called name. And there's one more thing I need to do to sort of flag this as a special method parameter to Spring Boot. And so in front of string in, this, in my, uh, my method parameters, I'm going to put request param as an annotation. So at request param is an annotation that I'm applying to this method parameter. And it's a signifier to Spring that this particular method expects there to be a request param or a query parameter called name. Now notice that this name in the URL that I'm putting as my query parameter has to match up with the method parameter. If these two are not the same, this won't work. If they are the same, what happens is Spring will take the value, in this case in my example here, launch code, and it will populate the method parameter with that exact same value because the query parameter name and the method parameter name match up. And since my, uh, my method now takes a parameter, I can use that parameter. Oops, let me put that back. I can use that parameter within the method itself. So I can return a dynamic message. Let me return hello as a string. And then I'm going to concatenate that with the name and then finish it off with an exclamation point just because we're excited to see whoever it is that we're talking to. Okay, so this is now a dynamic response. It will take a piece of data from the request and give a different response based on the value of that data. Let's start up our application and try it out. We have um, two different handlers that live at the same path, okay? So what I'm going to do to resolve this, this error message says ambiguous mapping cannot map hello controller method. That's because I have two different controllers uh, at the same path. To resolve this, I'm just going to, for the moment, comment out the hello method. And then I'll restart my application. Okay, now that it's started up, I'll go back to my web browser. And let's see, we're going to need to make a request to slash hello with a query parameter. So I'm going to go to localhost colon 8080 slash hello question mark name equals launch code. And we see we got a response that includes launch code. I can make this anything I want. I can say hello Java. And, uh, or I can put Java as the name in the query parameter and the, the response will be hello Java. I can uh, use my name, hello Chris. So this is a dynamic re request handler now. It re responds differently based on the data that it's given. This is only one way to create a dynamic request handler. In the next lesson video, we'll show you how to do it uh, with another technique.